through those uncomfortable situations or Hey YouTube! Welcome back to my channel. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Hey, what's up, guys? I just did a 20 minute workout. It was awesome. I do grow with Joe. Go check her out on YouTube. This is not sponsored at all, but I love, 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 love her workout. So, anyways, my daughter's over there. She's well. Let me show you my daughter. She's over here. She came out of my mom's house, and it's my baby girl. My brother's birthday. Happy birthday, Hector! Hey, don't throw things. Happy birthday, Hector! And I, have I thought I would sit and talk with you guys. I just got done doing a workout. I'm gonna put my workout in. It's been a while. I'm sorry. Just tell you guys about me, like how I've been and what's been going on you guys already know that we're in the process of looking for a house we got approved yay I'm excited um, I've been working at my new job at Walmart my husband's been there for five years I've been working at Walmart for almost a year in March it will be I love my job I love the co-workers I just love the environment I'm very extrovert um, I love to be around people. I'm very like pe a people person. But today is my brother's birthday. He, my husband, went out with him to go watch Spider Man, the new Spider Man movie. Um, I bought him tickets for Christmas because I know that that's something that he really, really likes, and he hasn't been at the movies for a very, very long time, and that's something that he enjoys. So I figured, let me just surprise him with tickets and it's my brother's birthday and my brother loves the same things as my husband so they went which is awesome I am so happy about that I love my brother I appreciate him taking my husband out and um, just being awesome um, it's also uh, my husband's niece's birthday Savannah happy birthday uh, journey my goal is to lose a hundred pounds um, I only lost 15 so I've been doing intermittent fasting for these days I started yesterday so I'm doing intermittent fasting seeing I, I gotta stop looking up sorry guys I gotta see where if, if that's gonna help me lose the weight that I should I haven't been losing weight I've been like losing inches so I went down three dress sizes so I went from a 3x to an XL and sometimes large it depends on like the clothes material uh, but I went from a 3x to the XL but my weight didn't change at all um, and only went down 15 pounds so I'm just kind of like is going on you know what I mean so we're gonna figure that out uh, I've been drinking more water I started today yesterday drinking water on top of that um, my eating habits are I'm trying to get that on track uh, I have been eating not so good today like the other days I've been doing great but today at my job they had rice and benin that's why I ate for lunch so the rice wasn't really good and I have a binge eating problem I do I've always had had a binge eating disorder since I was a little girl since I can remember my background on that was I just hated myself you know I was bullied basically from the moment I went to school till the moment I left school I was bullied um, not physically, but emotionally. Like, people calling me names because of my weight, uh, making fun of me. It just really got to me, and I started to hate myself for a very long time. And I am in this self-love journey right now. And I'm trying to love myself and look at myself the way God sees me. Which is the hardest thing to do. 
um, when you suffer from that. Um, it's a very touchy subject. Uh, it's years of feeling unwanted and unworthy. Um, and it really took a toll on me for many, many years. There was a point in my teenage years in high school where I said, I'm just unlovable. And I felt like I was just too ugly for society and like no one was going to look my way or love me. <sighs> Relationship with, with before would feel, make me feel like worse, you know, make me feel like exactly what I was thinking. So I started to eat because it was like a coping mechanism. And I ate because I was like, you know, what's the point, you know, of taking care of myself and I hate myself, you know? Healing process. Um, but when I met God, he made me feel like special and loved and worthy. And then he brought my husband into my life. And at first, my husband was thinking worldly. You know, he was thinking the same way as the world would think. But he was just thinking fleshly, you know. And when he met me, at first, he did think that way. But then he uh, decided to get to know me from my heart. And that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted was somebody to get to know me and love me for who I am. No one gave me that chance ever. And um, my husband got to know me. And he fell in love with me. He fell in love with my heart and who I am. Because of Jesus. Because of God in his life. My, man is, my husband is a man of God. And when he started looking through God's eyes, he started seeing beauty within me. It's funny how I'm talking about this right now. And our anniversary is next month. Our wedding anniversary will be six years married. But I thank God for that man because he makes me feel amazing, special. He makes me feel like a beautiful woman. He makes me feel special. He loves me the way God loves me. Um, and I always pray that my future husband would will remind me of Jesus and will love me like Jesus and I will see Jesus through his eyes like I will see Jesus in him and I do I do to love myself take care of myself do I have my ups and downs oh yeah I do do I sometimes think about getting weight loss surgery I do all the time but the Lord reminds me that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That I am stronger than what I think. That I can do any... I'm not bashing anybody that got the surgery done. God bless you guys. You guys did it. I'm happy for you guys. And I'm praying for your journey. And I see you guys doing awesome. Congratulations. I love you guys. But this is not bashing you guys at all. This is just my decision. And me... Um my relationship with God and my and my relationship with myself like me loving myself um so this journey is just a journey of self love and fitness and health because that is my goal is to be fit and to be healthy this is a lifestyle change and until excuse me until you get that in your mind 
your heart that it's a lifestyle change, then it will always it will always be like a diet in your mind, you know, and it will always be up and down hill, up and down battle. So I have to constantly constantly remind myself that this is a lifestyle change. This is something that I need to do for my health. You know, I have a two-year-old daughter that I want to run around with. I want to play with her. I want to be able in the summer to go and go to the park and just go down the slide with my daughter without being out of breath or being stuck on the slide. Or, like, I, I just want to enjoy life. And being overweight has limited me so much and has kept me from li- living my life to the fullest. To abundance that like Jesus wants us to live very energetic I want to feel like like I don't know how to explain like I want to I was telling my husband this yesterday I want to feel like on top of the world like whoo like all this energy and feel like happy and joy like I cannot explain and every time I eat that type of food like junk food and stuff like that or sugar or whatever I feel it I really feel it I feel so unenergized I feel so sluggish so sleepy I feel like a mess and like I can't function you know so right now I'm on a low carb um, due to me having prediabetes before I'm not proclaiming it on me but um, I am on low carb and I feel like this is the best thing for me because I do lose weight on it so I'm gonna continue on that and but I am learning little by little and I am getting to my goals and I am gonna hit my goals because I proclaim that I speak it to the atmosphere I'm going to hit my goals I'm going to lose a hundred pounds no matter how much I fail in this journey, it's a journey. That's why it's called a weight loss journey. A journey is not easy. It's not going to be easy, but you got to continue. You got to run to the finish line. And that's how it is with God, you know, in your relationship with Jesus. I have to continue on this journey and not give up even when things get tough. I have to continue to read the word, continue to build my relationship with God, and continue to run to the finish line because... I have to fight the good fight of faith, just like I have to fight this fight with my weight and overcome overcoming hurdles and overcoming um, my binge eating disorder, my my um, overeating and and just emotional eating, you know. And I need to overcome this because I am tired of it. It's like I am sick and tired of struggling all my life. Today I work I came to a real, realization that I sat there, I went to the bathroom, like TMI, but I went into the stall and I was going to use the bathroom and I said, I can't go back. I, I can't go back to where I was with my weight. I cannot go back. There is no way. I have to move forward. I know that I ate this food today, but I can't just give up and go back and say, oh, well, I ate this food. Well, might as well throw away the rest of the hard work that I put into this. No, I need to fight. We need to fight. Like, I want to encourage you guys. Don't give up. Like, I know it's hard. I know that this is, like, an addiction. It's hard. But know that you can do it through Christ who strengthens you. Strengthens Philippians 4.13. Know that with Christ, you can do all things. You can do anything with Jesus. And just doing what I have to do. um, And being strong in this journey. Because... Where I was weak, I'm going to be strong in, you know, and God is strengthening my character. He's refining me. He's making me new in so many areas. I'm excited for the whole journey. Right now, I'm in so many journeys. I am in my journey of getting closer to God, um, reading the word more, like I'm going to read soon. Um, and I'm in the journey of looking for a house and my weight loss. So it's a lot going on, but I just want to sit with you guys and really share that with you guys. And I just hope you guys get encouraged by this. I'm sorry it was so emotional, but you know, I know that someone out there has dealt with bullying and has dealt with 
you know, uh, not feeling worthy or hurting in so many ways and you don't feel like you're just, you feel like you're just here to, to exist, you know, you're not here to live, you're not living, so I encourage you guys, don't feel that way. God has such a purpose and a plan for your life. He loves you. And no matter where you are in your life right now, in the path you are right now, God God loves you and he doesn't care what you did. He don't care about what you're doing or what you did in the past. He just wants you. He wants your heart. He loves you. He wants a relationship with you. And testimony, everything gets better with him by your side. Will you struggle? Yes. But all these things that you're struggling with, God is molding you into the person that he created you to be. Those things that he's pruning out of you. Like a tree. When you trim a tree or take away the the, the branches that are not good or, or in the soil in the ground that you take out weeds that are you know, taking away from the beautiful grass to grow, the flowers to grow. You know, God is taking those weeds out. He's taking all those things out. And then you'll be able to grow into a beautiful flower uh, or into a beautiful butterfly or into something amazing. And those prunings and those weed take him taking out those weeds and stuff like that, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt and it's going to feel uncomfortable. But let me tell you, it is worth it. Because at the end, you're going to feel so new, so rejuvenated, so refined, that you're going to be like, wow, I never knew that that was me. I never knew that I would be this beautiful butterfly. I never knew that being in that cocoon and suffering through those uncomfortable situations or facing those hurting things that hurt me in the past that God you were molding me and that I became this beautiful flower and nothing can hurt me again because I learned to cope with things differently and that's where I am right now I'm in that cocoon stage and I feel God refining me. But I thank Him because I don't want to be the same. I don't want to be the same me. I'm ready to be that butterfly. I'm ready to fly free. Fly free and enjoy the breeze. Enjoy Not worry and not be angry and not allow things to get to me, you know. So I'm ready for that stage, but I know that I need this pruning stage. I know that I need, I need this. I need this refining because it's gonna make me into the person that I was created to be. It's gonna make me into that beautiful creation. You know, so God is so good. I don't know who's listening to this and you're feeling that way. But I want to encourage you guys, don't give up. Allow God to refine you. Allow God to prune you. I know it hurts. I know it's uncomfortable. But allow him to because at the end of the day, you're going to be something brand new and those things that you used to have, those characters, the anger, the pain, the, all those things are going to go away and you're going to feel free, free from all that. And that's what I want. And I just want to sit with you guys and encourage you guys and share with you my story. Thank you guys so much. Um, if you need any prayer, please write down below prayer and I will pray for each and every one of you guys. Um, and don't forget to give this uh, video a like and subscribe if you want to. I will greatly appreciate it. Um, and don't forget to hit the bell for any notifications of videos I put up so that you don't miss out. 
on any videos I put. <laughs> okay, have a Merry Christmas, guys. God bless you guys. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay blessed.